This is Wine Grapes, a book that I wrote together with Julia Harding, Jensis Robinson. It contains all the details, the genetic details, the historical details for 1,368 grape varieties that are cultivated in the world to make commercial wine. We have tried to gather all of them in one book, which is very heavy, uh, 1,280 pages, um, and it, it took four years in the making. It's interesting to take a look at languages. This is what we call glottochronology, which is the chronology of languages. And some people, Australian people, have done uh, this genealogical tree of the Indo-European languages. And this is, uh, well, one of, the, one of the papers that I published in uh, 2006. And I used a um, probabilistic approach. It was very complicated. I lost some neurons uh, doing that. Uh, because it was a lot of statistics to show that Pinot is most likely a great-grandfather of Syrah. If you go this, Syrah, uh, we know that it is a spontaneous cross, a progeny of Mondes Blanche from Savoie and Dureza from Ardèche. And I selected this wine because of this um, mutation, but first, first of all, I want to speak about Tempranillo. You had certainly liters of Tempranillo all these days here. And uh, for those of you who have looked up in, in, in wine grapes, this information is not in wine grapes because the parentage of Tempranillo was discovered after the publication of the book. So it will be in a possible second edition in a few years, maybe. So Albio Mayor is, um, well-known variety from Libera del Duero. The other one is Benedicto. I had never heard of it before. It is not commercially cultivated. It is somewhere in a grape collection. It is from Castilla y Leon, and we don't know anything about that. We don't know its history. Um, we don't know nothing. So this is the story about the origin of Tempranillo, which most likely comes from La Rioja. So maybe in this area here, could be the birthplace, the birthplace of, of Tempranillo. And what we have today is a color mutation. So speaking about Pinot, I took an everyday wine as an example. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see the, vin the, the, the vintage. What would be the taste of Romane Conti 2214? Well, none of us will drink this wine, so who cares? for Romani Conti. <laughs> Either we keep Pinot Noir or we change the variety. If we keep Pinot Noir, so we have three choices. We keep on by increasing the agrochemical weaponry. It is harmful for the health, harmful for environment. Or we screen a lot of Pinot clones and we are lucky enough to find some that are resistant to disease X or Y. It might take, it might take centuries. Or we go to genetically modified Pinot. I will talk about that later. 